Hi, today let's see how we can uh, use projector for remote development. We can use uh, any JetBrains IDE with projector and uh, develop remotely on a cloud server. I'll be showing uh, this using uh, Amazon AWS EC2 instance. But you can do this on any cloud server uh, hosted anywhere, maybe hosted locally or hosted in any other cloud server like uh, Google Cloud or a Azure or anything else. Uh, today I'll show you using the EC2 instances. Uh, the steps are all this, always the same, so uh, you can you do it anywhere. So I will go ahead and create a so new instance. Uh, you can use any of this uh, image type, but uh, let me select the Amazon Linux 2 today. And I will go ahead and use a sufficiently large instance. For this, uh, I can use um, an instance of with uh, 16 GB RAM because uh, I would be continuously developing on this one and I might need, need a lot of space. Uh, you can uh, use uh, whichever the one you like and I will go ahead and create this. So to add storage I will need something uh, high value. So I will create uh, instance with 100 gig data and and then I will go and to c configure the security group I will create a new security group here I will give this a name so it will be my development desktop so because I would like to be safe I will use a uh, um, uh, only allow SSH ching into my uh, uh, cloud server using only my IP so I will use the source as my IP so it will give, take my uh, IP here so on I can SSH into my instance only from my IP so I will review and launch so I will click on launch so you can create a new a key pair like this and download the key pair but I already have a, a key pair so I will use my one and I have to acknowledge that I already have this so I will launch this it will take a couple of seconds for this to start I can refresh this meanwhile I, uh, I can copy this one my public IPv4 and I will log into this using my uh, key so SSH minus I and I will use the local key I have and I will log into uh, this server using EC2 user at the public IP and I will have to authenticate it once I have logged into my server now let's go ahead and install projector so to install projector on a server you, we have to use the server side installer this native app is for uh, the local uh, installation in your machine. This is the server side installer. So here we have uh, instructions on how to install this one. So uh, the this so we have to use the instructions applicable for Amazon Linux too. If you are using a Debian based uh, installer, you can use this and i will go ahead and install a uh, project on my server um, i have to install python and before i install this one i will also update my uh, yum so it will ask me to otherwise uh, this may, might fail so I will then copy this installation instruction 
and then wait for it to finish um, installing and then I will install this using my uh, yum installer and then I will use pip and the uh, to install the projector once projector completes installing I can use um, projector install command to uh, install the IntelliJ ID which is the one I use for Java development but if you are using PyCharm or any other IDE you can go ahead and install this that following the same instructions so if you are using a Debian based uh, installer you might uh, have to uh, add the location of the uh, projector into your bash profile so that you can like call it without having to always access it from the bin directory so in in amazon linux 2 it, it, it automatically goes into the path so i don't have to add it to my profile uh, so i will call projector install and then it will ask me to accept the license i can go through the license by pressing space and then uh, press q to finish reading and then uh, accept the license then it will ask me which one i have to install so there are so many uh, ides you can choose from i will choose the first one install the idea so I will select one and I only want this tested version so I will select yes and I I will install the latest, latest version of IntelliJ IDEA so while uh, we are waiting for this we can see that uh, the projector has a native app so you can use uh, this zip and install it uh, using the uh, using the installer here or if you install the toolbox you have the, if you have the toolbox like this you can uh, install the projector from here when i have already installed it here and i will you can see it i can open it like this so since now the projector has installed IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition uh, to my machine so it's in localhost 999 so this is in my cloud server now I want to, ac to access this from my local machine I will have to uh, open this port on either AWS so that I can access it directly or I can do something like this i can po forward the port from my remote server to my local message for this one you have to use this command you can use sshtnl this is like tunneling uh, tunneling the port from uh, the cloud server to the local server so 8000 is the local uh, port i might I'll be using on my machine so uh, 127.0.0.1 is the local host and I have to tunnel the port 999 and I have to tunnel uh, the port from this address so I have to copy my IP address again so I will copy this IP address and tunnel this so I have to use the path uh, here so we can connect like this so it might uh, take some time for port forwarding and then I will confirm that I have agreed to this user agreement and then click on continue i may agree to send statistics or not it's your choice 
and now we have the IntelliJ idea here so uh, now uh, the installation is complete you might even uh, try to open this using your browser so I can open a new tab and then I can go to HTTP and I can access the same on my browser which is really cool I can develop uh, anywhere even on my um, uh, iPad you can see this is HTTP we can make it still more secure by making this HTTPS for this I can go to the instructions on my for projector which is um, here and you can say co projector config edit if you paste this one it will ask if you want to change a different things you can change the port and you can also listening address and so on but what I need is use secure connection so I can say yes and would you like to set password for connection um, I don't need for now so I can use only the tested version which is the default and once it has updated uh, this HTTP version to HTTPS once it has done I can call project run to run my IDE it will my start my IDE in HTTPS now I can uh, this port is open again uh, so so if you can if you are opening it on the browser you might get a warning so you might have to download this uh, certificate and it will upload it, it on your browser or you can we can even open this one on the browser new tab and then install this open this one on the browser it will say it's a um, security risk and but I can accept the risks and continue so it will open it on the browser so you can open this on the browser also and if you want to close your server this this is not the most convenient way to open projector so one thing you uh, you can do is using use tmux tmux is a very useful way to run any server uh, in a different uh, as a different job as a different session so we can install uh, tmux this is completely optional uh, this is uh, a way to make your life easy so i can install tmux like this uh, i can install tmux using this command once i have installed tmux i can create a new session of tmux using this and i can run projector here now i can close tmux using control b and d now tmux is detached i can go attach back into this session using tmux attach session minus t i d e and then i can also uh, split the screen using control b and quotation mark and i can run this uh, logs here which is very convenient so i can see what's happening and i can detach this session and then I can create a new session to the max new minus is de development session. I can install JIT. And here I can copy my the project and then I can clone it in my workspace 
probably I should uh, install Java also on this machine which I can use do so using SDK main I, I have a video on using SDK main to install Java uh, once I have done that one I can detach from this uh, tmux session and attach into the IDE session and since it's running on HTTPS I can open it using projector so I will connect to localhost 8000 wait for it to connect and you can see that I have uh, still I still have the port opened you can uh, you can see the logs here that it gets connected why we are using HTTPS is because uh, sometimes cop the clipboard doesn't work if we you just use HTTP so it's very convenient if you use uh, HTTPS instead of HTTP so I can open my netty here so it's on my cloud server and I can easily open this like this and uh, uh, this is a very convenient way uh, for development you can uh, develop on the go only you have to have a cloud server you can uh, develop on any machine it doesn't have to have a high you only need a very good cloud instance thank you for watching please subscribe